Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this super fun purpley eye look with a full HD glam face uh, tutorial as well with it. So it might be a little bit longer of a video, but it's kind of like my updated routine if I'm doing just a little bit extra than just the basic 10 minute going to work. Um, which, by the way, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I think I might do an updated one of those as well, um, where I do like, you know, my quick 10 minute makeup because it's very different than the one that I think I posted a while, while back. So, um, but without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and we are going to jump right into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, first thing I did to start off this eye look was I primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot and then I set it with a Max Studio Fix powder in my shade. Then I'm just using my big fluffy MAC brush and MAC Soft Brown eyeshadow to blend in as a transition shade in my upper crease. And I'm just going to kind of wing that out on the sides and I'm being very messy about it because it's all going to be covered up anyway, it's just our transition shade. So then for like a second transition shade and just to add a little bit of like pinky, pinky warmth, I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Cupcake. I love to include this shade whenever I'm doing like a purpley look because it is a pink but there's like something that's kind of almost like a warm pink to it so if you're working with kind of like cooler colors it adds that perfect warmth that you need without being too overpowering. So all over the lid I'm going to go in with this nice fluffy shading brush and I'm going to use Anastasia's Iridescent Purple. This is a beautiful beautiful shade. Um, I've used it many many times. It's definitely one of my if not my most used purple shade that I own. It's just, it's really beautiful. It's very versatile. You can kind of use it in a lot of different ways and make it look very different depending on what other colors you put with it. So I'm really packing that on there and it's a big fluffy uh, like shader brush. So I'm using kind of the tip or the end of it to kind of bring it up and just smoke it out very slightly, only right above where the mobile lid ends. So if you have your eyes open, you should be able to see the purple sneaking out slightly, but not like too, too, too much, not too high. And then I'm just picking up um, this small MAC blending brush and going into that same shade. And then also Anastasia Star Cobalt, which is a like crazy, crazy blue, beautiful blue shade that I've never seen any other color like it before. The color payoff and everything, it's just, it's stunning. So I'm just taking that on this white fluffy brush and I'm kind of blending out the edges there and adding a little, little bit of depth on the outer corner. And again, I'm just trying to be very careful not to bring this up too, too high. Then I'm going uh, back in with that big fluffy MAC brush that I used with the soft brown color and just blending out the edges again just to make sure that everything is very soft and not too overpowering. I definitely want the most of the purple pigment to be on the mobile lid itself. So then I'm taking that cupcake shade one more time again because of the warmth that I feel like it brings. It just is a really good blending shade for looks like this going back in again and packing it onto the mobile lid just to make the color really dense and then blending out one more time to make sure nothing is harsh. Using Max Fix, Fix Plus and a more stiff um, shader brush, I am taking this super awesome shade that I love. I bought it. It's from Makeup Geek. I bought it because it reminded me of the Spice Girls in like the 90s and it's called Blacklight. And then I am just taking it on my finger and kind of like blending it out and adding a little bit more pigment to the center of the lid and blending out from there, almost in like a triangle shape, kind of. Taking that small uh, MAC brush one more time with no additional product and just blending out there just to make sure that it's not like too, too harsh. Now I'm taking this dome shape brush and I'm going back in with Star Cobalt, the deepest shade that we've used, and I'm going to apply that um, in a really small kind of like triangle shape on the outer corner. And I'm really just kind of adding like some depth there to make my the center of my lid really stand out more and to make my eyes appear almost more round in shape. And then I'm taking this Morphe brush and a little bit more of that Star Cobalt and just blending that out just to make sure that it's not too harsh and make it more like diffused. 
So now I am going to continue my face makeup and I am taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and applying that under my eyes and I am going to spritz my um, Beauty Blender with the Smashbox Primer Water uh, to blend this out. I find that this is a very matte concealer and it can, if you don't like blend it out immediately, it can be almost a little difficult to blend out and kind of like work against you and create creases and stuff like that. So if you want to, if you have dry skin, it's probably a smart thing to do for you if you want to use this concealer to um, spritz it with like a primer water or something like that. And I don't even have dry skin and I still had to do that, like have to do that to not get creasy with it. So now I am setting my under eye with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just, I've, I've loved this powder since I tried it. I know I use it in like every video, but it's because it's like the one powder that always keeps me matte and it just is so like airbrushed. I just, I don't, I will always love this. It's one of those like, you know, forever products for me. So now I am using my Smashbox Contour Stick and I'm really using it more as like a bronzer. I'm really not like contouring in a harsh way. I'm just kind of bronzing and I'm just kind of like sculpting out where I usually would like put my bronzer. And I'm once again gonna use the Smashbox Primer Water to spray my uh, Beauty Blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out from there. When you blend like a cream, even contour or bronzer out, you always kind of want to like move in an upward, upward manner. Like you don't want to drag down, you want to kind of push up. So now I am taking uh, my Becca, it's like a, a, it's a liquid primer, I mean not a liquid primer, a liquid illuminator, I forget the exact name of it, I will put it in the description down below, and I am putting that on the um, height of my cheekbones. Now I am taking my Hoola bronzer and I am just like setting my cream bronzer with a powder bronzer. Then I'm going to go in and sculpt that out, and just kind of clean up there because I tend to be messy when I know that I'm going to go in and do this, so I was just like kind of being sloppy about it. <laughs> if you're not going to do this, maybe be not be so sloppy about it, but I knew I was going to do this for the sake of the video anyway, so I'm just kind of baking. I'm not going to leave it for a long time. Again, I'm just kind of doing it for the sake of like cleaning everything up. And then I'll just take whatever is left of it and just kind of hit the high points of my face and set everything, like my nose and the center of my forehead, everything I haven't really set yet, I'll go over one more time or for the first time, and then under my eyes I'll go over for the, for the second time even. Now I'm just taking my Dua Fiber brush and just brushing off all that excess powder. Again, I don't let it sit for super long, it's kind of just to kind of clean up what I'm doing. I don't want like a super harsh line. So now I'm going to go in and I am just going to kind of add um, like a little very 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 light layer of my MAC Studio Fix powder over the parts of my face that get the most oily just for like a little extra coverage too because I do have like some blemishes going on. Um, so I'm doing like you know the center of my forehead and all of that. I just felt as I was looking at it that I needed like a little extra coverage in those areas. So now I am going to take my uh, MAC Pro Emphasize Powder, which I just like cannot live without. I'm so obsessed with this stuff because I use it as like a highlighter. I don't know if like most people do that, but it looks like a really natural, beautiful highlighter. And for somebody who has like texture, breakouts, oiliness, it's good not to have like a super intense highlighter because it can be pretty at first, but it kind of can go wrong really quickly. So I like a more subtle one. Now I'm just contouring my nose using the Hoola Bronzer, just doing that really, really quickly. I'm going to go in and bake again, so I'm not, you know, I'm being pretty precise, but not using even like a super, super thin brush or anything, because I'm going to go in and clean it up, so. When it comes to like nose contouring, I feel like it's kind of hard to watch videos about it because like you can get the general idea by watching videos, but everybody's nose has such like a definitive way that they need to do it that you really just kind of have to like figure out which what is the way that works the best for you. So then I just baked really quick to clean it up and I'm just brushing it away again. And I just, after I've done like all of my, you know, like face powder other than like blush or whatever, I will go over my face with a Dua Fiber brush that has like no product on it just to kind of like go over everything. I just find that if I do that, it, I tend to look more flawless in the end. 
Now I'm just using a clean finger and using my uh, Pro Emphasize powder one more time to kind of go down the center of my nose and a little ball at the end of my nose, like an explanation point, to kind of add like a natural highlight to that area to work with the contour that I did. It kind of just helps to com complete the whole contour to add that highlight down the center. So now I'm taking uh, Makeup Geek's Head Over Heels blush, which is like a really pretty like kind of like bubblegum pink with a little bit of a reflect in it and I am it works really well with the pro emphasize powder this blush it, they it has like the same kind of highlightiness to it so they look really pretty on together and I'm just applying that right to the apples of my cheeks here you can see the kind of natural glow that that uh, pro Emphasize Powder gives. And now I'm using it on a concealer brush um, and highlighting the arc of my brow. Now I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. I believe the name of this lip liner is Honey Stick. It's a Clinique lip liner. They have really great lip liners. I'm surprised I never hear anybody talk about them because they actually are really, really good. And I'm also using a Clinique Pop Matte lip color in... I cannot remember the name of it right now. I will put it in the description down below. So I was just going back and kind of like touching up. I always do that at the end before I do my lower lash line. And I was just kind of doing some like minor blending there. So now I'm working on my lower lash line. And I am picking up uh, Makeup Forever shade M928. It's like this gorgeous purple. Like I don't own or have ever seen anything like it. And I'm running that. I ran that on my lower lash line. Now on a more um, precise brush I am taking star cobalt and I put that on the inner on the two outer parts of my lower lash line and in the center of my lower lash line I put that black light color now on a uh, on a stiff brush I am just taking beauty mark from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just putting that on the outer part of my eye just to add a little bit of definition there and I am taking this super awesome um, NARS gel liner. Um, I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head and I forgot to put it in front of me so I'm going to put that down below as well but it's this like super awesome bright blue color and also taking this Anastasia um, eyeshadow I believe it's called lilac and I'm putting that on the inner corner of my eye. It's like a white kind of like pearlescently light purple shadow. Curling my lashes and using the Clinique this Clinique uh, what is it called chubby lash mascara here. I didn't leave a lot of this footage in because it's boring and like who really cares about putting mascara on? I think we all know that. The only thing about Clinique, like a lot of their mascaras that I'm like not into, I feel like the thing about it that I'm not into is that they're very wet and I don't like wet mascara formulas. But if you do, you probably like a lot of Clinique mascaras. So I'm using these Sephora Fusion lashes. They're mink lashes. I love them. They're very pretty. They work well for my eye shape because they're like dramatic without being like too crazy on me. They're wearable. They're wearable dramatic, like daytime dramatic if that if that is a thing. <laughs> so now I am just kind of like uh, doing my upper waterline and kind of just blending in like the inner corner to that lash that lash band so that there's not like an obvious difference between because I didn't do a wing or anything so I'm just kind of working on blending that in together right now. So now I'm just setting everything with that Smashbox primer water and going over it with my beauty blender and just really pushing everything into my skin and pushing all the powders into everything and setting everything together. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!